Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to install and configure Windows Server Backup in Windows Server. Specifically, we're using Windows Server 2019, although the steps will be the same or similar on the other versions. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, SQL Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so I'm on my homepage here. This is Windows Server 2019. I have my SQL Server configured on this server. And I want to go ahead and configure backups for this server. I don't want to risk losing any critical data. The first step here is I'll hit the Windows key and we'll open our server manager. In the top right, we're going to click Manage. And the first option here where it says Add Roles and Features, go ahead and click that one. It's going to bring up our familiar Add Roles and Features wizard. And we're going to click Next. We'll select role-based or feature-based installation, select your server from the server pool and press next again. We're actually gonna skip over the server roles page. So just click next through this. And if we scroll down on the features page, we're looking for Windows Server Backup. With that selected, we'll hit next and we'll click install. As we can see, our installation succeeded on, and that's our server name or computer name. So I'll hit close and we can actually close the server manager. Opening the start menu again, we're gonna type in the word backup and we can see the desktop app labeled Windows Server Backup. So we'll press enter on that. In the top left navigation pane, let's select local backup. I would like to configure a scheduled backup. So I'll click into backup schedule. Okay, so once I've selected the local backup here, we're gonna bring up the backup schedule wizard. That's gonna be underneath this action section on the right hand side of the page. So I'll click this and it's gonna open up that wizard. I know for me, I wanna do backups once per day. I think that is plenty sufficient for this server. So I'll press next here. <clears throat> now we can either back up the entire server. This is the option I'm gonna go for but you could also choose custom if you know you just wanna do custom volumes. I'll select next, and I'm gonna select my time of day that I want the backup to occur. I'm gonna do this every day at 12 p.m. noon, and I'll select next. Here we have a few options on where we wanna store these backups, and I'm gonna go for the hard disk that is dedicated for backups. This is the safest way to store backups, but we could also choose a volume or to a shared network file. With my option selected, I'll hit next. All right, guys, so since I'm on a virtual machine, I won't be able to do any of the physical backups on a drive, and that's again, because I'm using a virtual hard disk. I can't use an external drive on a virtual machine because Hyper-V doesn't support that sort of pass through with peripherals. Assuming you're on a physical server, either of these steps would be fine, and you would just finish through the wizard to go ahead and configure this. Now, outside of that wizard, I also have an option to backup once. Let's go ahead and explore this wizard. So I'll select next, full server, and we're gonna select the local drive. All right guys, so again, I'm gonna run into the same issue here because of the virtual machine, but this is how you would conduct an immediate backup. All right guys, and then lastly, we could recover to a backup from this option called recover. We could either select our local server or a backup stored on another location. We would select next and we would find our backup and then just continue through the wizard. We can access the same action menu from the top left here. We're also able to configure our performance settings. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about configuring or setting up Windows Server backup, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.